interpreting is interpreting. It doesn't matter what kind of interpreter you are, where you work, which mode you use, which languages you use, you're an interpreter. I'm Dr. Jonathan Downey and this is Inside Interpreting and this is just a very quick video. I'm going to be writing on this topic far more broadly and far more deeply in later publications but I just wanted to put out this quick video to say that traditionally we have divided interpreting up into settings, into community interpreting, court interpreting, conference interpreting, medical interpreting and I'm not sure that's a good idea anymore. Are the concerns of court interpreters and the concerns of conference interpreters different? On the face of it, yes, but if you dig underneath, they're both looking at conditions, at large-scale contracting, at relationships with agencies, and making sure that they can deliver when they need to deliver, and making sure that clients are aware of the importance of their skills, and making sure that no one tries to replace them with shoddy alternatives. Is medical interpreting really that different from public service interpreting? Well, it depends how you define the terms anyway, but the point is that medical interpreters and interpreters in community centres and schools are still using many of the same skills. Yes, the terminology may be different, but the modes used are going to be pretty similar. The concerns are going to be pretty similar. Sadly, the rates of pay may be different. Is interpreting a single profession or many? Well, in my video on settings, I said that I wasn't really sure whether the settings make any sense. I want to go even further now and say that I think that at the moment, our continued development of interpreting as if it was six or seven professions rather than one, is not really doing us any good. I'd like this video to be a catalyst. A catalyst for associations from all over interpreting, from every setting of interpreting, to get together in the same room and have a summit on how all interpreters can get better conditions, on how all interpreters can work together, on how we can use the lobbying skills of police interpreters, with the political connections of conference interpreters, with the ability to understand communities from community interpreters. Whatever kind of interpreter you are, you're an interpreter in my book. And I believe that it's time for all interpreters, no matter where they work, how they work, who they work through, which languages they work with, to work together. We need to acknowledge each other's training and skills, acknowledge each other's expertise, and spread knowledge from every area of profession, if the profession to every other. Let's be interpreters together, because interpreting is interpreting, no matter what kind of interpreting it is. I'm Dr Jonathan Downey, and this is Inside All interpreting.